Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second of two pre-season races for the SRL Gran Turismo Sport Championship. Now you'll see there that Viper has once again taken pole for this event here in Alsace. I line up in P3, also behind Fubbles. Now here is the first start, I say first start because as you can see there, quite clearly Fubbles was unable to get off the line. Indeed, Viper had a pretty shoddy start as well, and I managed to slip down the inside into the lead. I wasn't really sure what had happened to Fubbles. It turned out, though, that it was actually a glitch with the game, so the lobby needed to be restarted. Of course, the race continued until that happened, and Viper had one go at me before the uh, restart was called. So, we lined up once again. This time, Fubbles was sent to the back because it was his fault that there was a restart. Unfortunately, the same problem occurred. Viper, this time, was the one who was left standing still. So it would be another restart. Also, there was a bit of a calamity there between P2 and P3. I think that was Sam and Dynamite. Bit of a collision. Once again, we're out in front. But once again, the race will need to be restarted. Hopefully, third time lucky here. We've shuffled up once again, this time to pole, because Viper's now at the back. Unfortunately, I think we lost Nemo, because uh, it's time to come a bit too late for the New Zealander. Anyway, the lights are out, and off we go. Once again, the car's bogging down at the start. Either way, we've made a pretty good start. It's Dynamite in P2 at the moment, and he would stay with me for the first stint. You can see on the map, or on the radar, I should say, how close he is. And we both decided to pit at the end of lap five. It's now a 16 lap race. It's been reduced each time there was a restart. Now, the difference in our strategies came not only pit lap, but on how much fuel we put in. It also seemed that he was going for a different compound than I was, but uh, I don't think that's entirely reliable that on the left there. Anyhow, I believe he took less fuel in this stint, which is why you'll see him come out in front of me here. And there he is, right next to Cart Dude, who'd pitted earlier than us, and gone for quite a drastic undercut, I believe. Cart Dude was able to effect a manoeuvre on Dynamite, and around the outside I went as Dynamite was focusing on the car in front, and through up into P3, net P2 I believe, as Viper was yet to pit. He had started at the back of course and worked his way up, I think to P4 or 5 before the pit stop started, so a pretty good run from Viper. He of course was second to us last week in the first pre-season race. So here's Cart Dude, he's on much older tyres at this point, this is our first lap out of the pits. So we should have the tyre advantage, and indeed out of that corner we've got a great run on the Penrite sponsored Mazda, and we might be able to slip around the outside at this large chicane. Could be a bit risky though, in those Viper pits. Yeah, I think we've gone around the outside, and it looks like Dynamite's challenging him as well for P3. And yes, Viper is in the pits. We should slot back up into P1 with Dynamite following us into P2. That is indeed what happens. So Viper once again going for a longer strategy. We'll see how that pans out. Now it's time to uh, defend, and Dynamite was all over me in this stint. I'm not sure whether the slipstream was keeping him there, or whether his pace was genuinely quicker than mine. Either way, I defended really quite hard. Legally, of course, that was one of his closest attempts, and this was the other one. Almost pulling completely side by side, but there was really no way through there, and I was able to just put myself on the apex and uh, stop any particular manoeuvres. It might be coming my way. Now I thought I should probably pit at the end of this lap, but given that I made a little error and going a bit wide here, and that contact forced me a bit wider, I decided to do the opposite of what Dynamite did. And he pitted at the last second, so I decided to stay out at the last second and do the opposite strategy. I would pit the next lap, and of course have to put far less fuel in it than he did. I was almost effectively fueled till the end. He would have had to put pretty much I'm not even sure, a few more laps of fuel in than me, and indeed I came out in front despite him being in front at that point when we pitted. So it's just Viper in front, it's 7 seconds at this point, and he's suffering really badly. He went for a one stop, and the tyres were screaming enough. You'll see just what a grip advantage I have around this next corner. You pull out to the right, quite far behind him still, and just drive around him cleanly. So he was had no grip at all, and unfortunately for the Dynamite, he wouldn't get through cleanly, so that was the last I saw of anyone in that race. I think I won by over 10 seconds or something like that. Dynamite wasn't showing on my leaderboard as second, that was interesting. 
even though he was actually running in P2 at the time. Across the line become another victory, two out of two in the preseason. Hopefully that bodes well for the actual season. You'll see Dynamite pop up, there he is. And then it would be Viper in third. So, victory once again. Hopefully, as I say, this translates well. Next week we have round one, Dragon Trail. I've been Jacko. See you then.